The Biden administration has pulled every lever within the federal government and encouraged federal agencies to create rules and adopt policies that not only expand abortion access, but also leave American taxpayers on the hook to sub subsidize Amer uh, abortion services. According to its illegal policy, DOD can now reimburse travel expenses for service members and their dependents who travel to obtain an abortion in another state and can also reimburse associated fees for health care professionals seeking to be licensed in other states for the purpose of performing abortions, all, once again, on the taxpayer's dime. It stops here and it stops now. On this issue, I will never relent. The days that the radical left uh, ignoring the law and driving their social agenda in the military are done. I will absolutely not waver in my defense of the unborn or in my support of the rule of law. I will do everything I can to ensure our military service members can focus on the jobs and their families instead of being used to support political point or score political points for the Biden administration. The United States should hear that in every place, in every possible window, the people on the other side of the aisle are going to continue their 50-year pledge to get rid of all abortions everywhere. They're open about that. And while those of them who are in competitive elections may try to mealy mouth what they have done for the past 20 years, we need to hear what they are telling us. I rise today to call out the amendments that have been forced into the Pentagon budget over the past month and a half. When this Pentagon budget was voted on in our committee, it passed 58 to 1. I voted for it, as did many of my peers on this side of the aisle and the other side of the aisle. When it left our committee, it became a wish list of right-wing culture war agenda. If you take a 40,000-foot view of what's going on here, it becomes very clear. The other side of the aisle is not going to stop until there is a federal ban on all abortions in every state, in every circumstance. Our last speaker made it clear. A bill that is typically bipartisan is now become a prisoner of this debate. So let's review the bidding. We have seen the other side of the aisle put in unnecessary abortion restrictions in minor appropriations in veterans' bills targeting female veterans. A single senator is holding up 300 critical military nominations because service members want to get leave to get the care that they need. And the NDAA in its current form is targeting service women specifically. The other side of the aisle is taking national security issues now hostage to their unrelenting fight on this issue so that no woman can have a right to an abortion if she's been raped, if she's the victim of incest, or for simple miscarriage, which one out of three women in America have had. I know the other side of the aisle is not listening in this issue. The American people need to hear it loud and clear. They Time's want a expired. federal ban on abortion. I yield back.